Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. As you can see, I am down at the allotment inside the polytunnel at the moment. Apologies for the light. Um, obviously, it's the autumn sun, isn't it? It's kind of like always right in your eyes. So I'm, I'm terribly sorry if um, I'm kind of shiny on one side and dark on the other. But um, I thought it's been about a week since I've come down the allotment. We've had loads of terrible weather again. And I've just really not felt like coming down here. But the carrots are growing in pots inside the polytunnel and I've got my onions as well, neither of which have been rained on. So I thought I'd better just check up on them. And I am pleasantly surprised. Um, I am so pleased with how well they're doing. Um, the carrots are just so lush and green and they're so healthy. They definitely need thinning out. I'm going to do that maybe, um, you know, another time in a couple of weeks or something like that. But I'm just so pleased they are doing so well and next year I'm definitely going to be growing lots more. I'm not at the harvesting stage obviously yet but I'm I'm quietly confident that I'm going to have a good harvest um, in the springtime so yeah that's absolutely lovely. The onions in here are doing well as well. I did put a row of Elsa Craig onion seeds in as well and they have germinated. They're doing well and um, hopefully there'll be a little harvest in July next year or something. I've never actually been successful with growing onions from seed. Um, but yes, I'm really, really pleased with that. Down on the allotments, it's really wet. The, the ground is really too wet to be digging at the moment. And where I dug on um, my no dig allotment, where I dug all of the cooch grass out last week, um, and I mentioned that I would need to redig it again, already there is more grass growing. So definitely, you know, I need to dig that over again before I even think about cleaning or tidying any of the other areas because I'm just going to be wasting my time otherwise. But um, I wanted to show you something today um, and I'm so excited about it. I really am so excited to show you these, but I have been lucky enough to be sent two packets of seed um, pre-launch from the latest Heritage Seed Library catalogue. I'm really excited. Um, you may not have heard of the Heritage Seed Library before, uh, but I became a member of um, the Seed Library a couple of years ago. I really got into organic gardening and I started learning about seed saving. And then I realised that there was this amazing um, kind of charitable organisation that spend their time on kind of preserving these old varieties of seeds that, you know, are no longer sold and they're at risk of extinction, which is like it's crazy isn't it that you know with um the commercial um seed supplies that we usually use we can only get a certain amount of different varieties of seeds but there's loads of varieties of seeds that have been lost over the years you know you may be familiar with the term like heirloom seeds and i know a lot of gardeners these days um have either heard of heirloom varieties of seeds or they're starting to grow them themselves um but a couple of years ago i found out about the heritage seed library and i've just not looked back i absolutely love being a member of it and in the next couple of days i think it's the 2nd of december they are launching their 2021 seed catalog and um it's not like a normal seed catalogue. You can't just go buying the seeds like we're used to. Basically, you have to become a member and then you get sent uh, once a year, you get sent this seed catalogue through the post and then you get to pick six varieties of seed that you want to grow. And honestly, it's just the best thing ever. My subscription actually starts in December because I think a couple of years ago, I saw somebody put on social media that they'd they got sent this six seeds through the post and I thought wow I want to be a member of this this is amazing so um it's kind of like my Christmas present to myself but um when you become a member of the Heritage Seed Library you get six um, varieties of seed that you can grow but also you're actually helping um, with the conservation side of it as well and um, you also become a member of Garden Organic um, which is a really amazing um organization as well i'm listen here this is not i'm not being paid to say all of this by the way i just think it's absolutely amazing and um they with the garden organic you get to do like members experiments as well um i think the first year i did um an experiment where they sent me 60 um pea seeds and then i split them up into three groups and i treated all of the seeds differently or the three groups of the seeds differently before germinating and then i had to um 
document which ones um, germinated first and then you send the stuff in which you know the information which is just honestly it's so fun to be a part of but anyway sorry I'm just like I said this is not a sponsored video but because I'm always talking about the Heritage Sheed Library I'm always putting pictures up of the varieties that I've grown in the past um, I think <laughs> I was just saying hello Heritage Sheed Library I absolutely love you and then somebody um, reached out from the seed library and said look you keep going on about us all the time do you want us to send you some seeds to to you know um have a go at growing next season and i'm so excited so i just wanted to talk to you about the seeds that they've sent me um the first uh, variety is called bronze arrow lettuce so they come in this like funky little um you know little envelope which is absolutely great and i'm not sure how how many seeds are in here but there's quite a lot of them but anyway the bronze arrow lettuce this is a picture of it when they send you the catalog through the post you get something like this on each you know you get um a picture of the um the vegetable and then you get a little kind of paragraph just talking about it and then you get to choose the six and you know what i'm so sad i still have both of my the last two years um seed catalogs actually that um I just don't want to throw them away because they're pretty cool. Um, but with this bronze arrow lettuce, it's a beautiful, productive California heirloom, popular in the USA, but was almost unknown here. A large, non-hearting hearting lettuce um, that's attractive, arrowhead-shaped leaves have a distinctive bronze tinge and mild flavour. Now, this is the good bit. They're drought and cold hardy, ideal for autumn sowing and overwintering. It's also less popular with slugs. Um, and then it goes on to uh, another paragraph just talking about um, it has now actually been included in the um, national list under its um, other name, which is Bronze Beauty. Um, so, yeah, this is um, something that I'm quite excited to be growing. So I think I'm going to try and germinate these um, this week. I'm going to sow them. And um, the last couple of years I have not really been successful with growing any lettuce or anything like that and that's something that i think in the uk um lettuce is one of like the highest um you know you know for food waste it's one of the highest binned products out there and it comes in plastic doesn't it so definitely i need to have a go with growing some of this also with lettuce you might not be aware but they are um self-pollinating um and which means they don't cross-pollinate with other um, varieties of vegetables or other varieties of um, lettuces so if i had um one variety of lettuce growing like here and one here they don't cross-pollinate which means the seeds if you let a couple of them um go to seeds you can save the seeds to grow next year and they won't have cross-pollinated so they'd be true so I'm so excited to be giving this a go. Um, and also what's pretty cool is when they contacted me at the Heritage Seed Library saying they were going to send me a couple of pre-launch seeds, I didn't know what they were going to send me. And if I'd chosen, I probably wouldn't have gone for these. So yeah, it's always good, isn't it, to try something different. Um, the next variety of seed they have sent me is this um, little orange um, or yellow uh, cherry tomato, which is called estonian yellow mini cherry and this one is an indeterminate cordon our donor obtained the seeds from an elderly russian lady at, at the covered market outside Tallinn, estonia we found it to be high yielding and usually quite spectacular i mean if you look at the picture you know that looks like a pretty good tomato um but what's really good about the heritage seed library as well is it always tells you the story of like where the seeds came from which makes you kind of feel like you've got kind of a nicer connection and you you have like a better understanding of your fruit that you're growing because you know most people you know might grow like an Elsa Craig tomato but they don't necessarily really know the background and the history of that tomato and I think sometimes by just knowing that history it really does give you like a deeper connection and a deeper like respect for the vegetables that you're growing and um, so yes I'm also very excited to be growing these next year um and with this um obviously i'm not gonna be able to plant these now because they're not going to grow over winter but i will be planting these early in the um season probably around about february will be the first lot of um tomatoes to go in 
um and yeah this one look how cool this is i love the seed packets this one here they like come like printed like that like one of those old machines um and i think it's really really cool um, but anyway, sorry, this is not a sales pitch um, for the Heritage Seed Library because I don't actually think they need to be sold. You can just have a look on their website and be part of um, something amazing. And they also have this thing where you can become a seed guardian um, and um, they send you seeds out that they've got a really small supply of and then you get to grow them at home. And then at the end of the season, you send all the seeds back and then they can be, you know, but, you know, it's like bulking up the stock of them so that they could be, um, you know, kept forever, which is so amazing. Um, but yes, that that is that really. I'm just so excited about that. And um, when it's so glum and, you know, we're getting towards, you know, we're getting towards winter because we're not actually in winter yet, but we're getting towards winter. And it's so nice having this catalogue hit you hit your doormat kind of you know early December when you're not feeling very motivated and you can just start making plans for the year ahead um but also with Heritage Seed Library they have loads of resources online um if you're not interested in becoming a member it's still worth having a look um at what they do and they've got loads of really helpful kind of fact sheets on their website where they show you how to um save seeds and stuff like that so it's pretty cool but anyway I'm going to stop going on now because I've been talking for absolutely ages as usual, but I just wanted to show you these and um, I want to, you know, have a go at growing, getting these. Sorry about that. Someone's just gone past on a motorbike. But yes, we are going to be um, selling some of these next week and see how they do with germination and stuff because it is getting a little bit colder now. But we will grow these and those yellow tomatoes and we can see how they do over the rest of the growing season next year. But yeah, I'm going to leave the video here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of all of my latest videos. Everything I've been talking about today, um, I will put um, down below in the description. So please take a look at that. Thank you very much. I will catch up with you in the next episode. Bye.